Hello, this is Munir here from Greenberg Hub and this tutorial I'll walk you through how you can switch um, between Gutenberg and the classic editor. Uh, the Gutenberg is uh, the new blog editor for WordPress and is really amazing. I suggest you to get familiar with the Gutenberg editor and does not do not completely disable it. So in this tutorial I'll walk you through on how you can convert your old post to the Gutenberg or you can actually make use of the both editors on your website simultaneously so uh, the thing you need is a plugin which is called classic editor plugin which is created by the WordPress uh, core team uh, uh, itself and is maintained by the WordPress team itself and they have said that they will uh, maintain it uh, at least by 2022 and there is enough time for you to use this plugin and 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 keep using both editors and get familiar and transform your workflow to the Gutenberg editor uh, by time so this plugin offers you to disable Gutenberg editor uh, for different scenarios which has mentioned here but the thing I would like to highlight in this post or tutorial is the option you can switch to from Gutenberg to classic editor this this option will appear and so, oh, and you can also switch from the classic editor to Gutenberg so once installed make sure go to the settings that are writing settings page and you need to go to this option and make sure this option is checked which says allow users to switch editor this this option will basically enable uh, this option for your post and page edits sprints so just click on this and then let's see how uh, it converts how basically it the whole process works so I have written a dummy content here a dummy content dummy post here I've taken a h1 tag some paragraphs some image a h2 tag paragraph bold a code and paragraph a list and also a, an image gallery so let's see how it converts to the block editor uh, let's walk through the process so uh, I'm on the page edit or post edit screen. I can go down and see this option which says editor switch to blog editor. Just click on this uh, and make sure you have uh, saved your post uh, so you don't lose the content while switching or if, if, if it's a draft save it and if it is an already a published post you can ignore this step. So click on this. Here we go the title comes up and the whole content basically comes up in one single block which is the classic block which is the same block as the 10 MCE block which uh, you have been using in the classic editor so you can keep using it it, it should work fine if I can just save draft and preview it and it should be it should come up nicely as it was before there was there, there should be no issue as you can see it is coming up as it, it, it should have been uh, in the classic editor but uh, as you are switching to the block editor um, assume or you should uh, make use of the blocks which this editor uh, uses to to make your content so there is an option you can quickly convert all this content into individual blocks and couldn't bug Gutenberg magically automatically converts each of the content to the specific blocks so uh, this headline will be converted to h1 block a headline block this paragraph should be converted to paragraph block image should be converted to an image blog and blah 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 so the option is right here you need to click on this and then click on the convert blocks simply click on this and boom it's done as you can see this is a headline block let me open this this is a headline block now this is a paragraph block and 
uh, and this is the paragraph blocks uh, with an image block aligned to the right as it falls in the classic content as you can see this is the alignment is also uh, retained nicely uh, in the conversion process so the paragraph the headline to uh, it it is set to h2 as it was a h2 in the classic editor the code block is coming up nicely and and now i can also switch a style of the code if i wish so the code block has two styles as you may know so uh this is the this is the bold and this is the list so the list is be has been converted to a list block nicely i can make use of the styles if i wish there are different styles for the list block in the Gutenberg block editor and the gallery the gallery is coming up nicely into the gallery block has been converted to a gallery block i can make use of wider line and columns uh, if i wish so you should actually uh, do not uh, disable the Gutenberg editor completely from your wordpress installation instead I prefer I suggest you to install the classic editor plugin which is an official plugin so if you are concerned about or if you are in a learning curve and would like to keep using the old classic editor but also want to try the new Gutenberg editor you should install the classic editor plugin and make use of the feature which is highlighted in this post and you should be uh, good to go so and now, now again uh, as i have uh, this converted if, if you do not like uh, the this block editor for whatever reason you want to switch back to the classic editor that's pretty simple also just save the draft make sure you don't lose the work and this then click on this option and you should see this switch to classic editor option here just click on this and we here we go we are in the classic editor our content is ported into the classic editor nicely as it was before um, one thing I, I see is masked is the gallery the gallery uh, when converted from the classic editor to from the block editor Gutenberg editor to the classic editor got masked I'm not sure right now how why it is but it is getting masked so make sure when you switch your content from a post from classic to Gutenberg or Gutenberg to classic uh, just make sure your content uh, is converted properly otherwise you have to uh, make edit and fix it uh, manually but it's a it's a good to go you should uh, cry and make yourself familiar with the Gutenberg editor hope you like this tutorial thank you